From abstract to figurative art, the pieces on display during East Africa's debut art auction depicted social, economic and political challenges as well as triumphs of the region. Kenya played host to local and international art enthusiasts who eagerly waved their paddles to outbid each other for paintings and sculptures. The region's art scene has been overlooked in the past, but the auction provided a much-needed shot in the arm. There's a lot of interest in what's happening um, in African art in general, but East Africa has been neglected generally. Um, the rest of the world knows much more about West African and South African art, so we felt that we needed to create different platforms to expose the um, range and breadth of talent here in, in East Africa. It is a milestone for me. I've, I've been auctioneering for 30 years and taken many, many hundreds of auctions in the United Kingdom. Um, first one I've ever taken in Africa and certainly here in Kenya. Um, and this is a wonderful opportunity because there's so much interest in you know, African art. And I think this is an amazing opportunity because this is the first sale that Circle Art are having um, of East African artists. Though Kenyan artists dominated the sale, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Uganda and Sudan also showcased their best works. The highest painting fetched 1.7 million shillings, nearly double its category prize, credited to the late Ugandan artist Jeffrey Musaka. In total, the auction fetched a total of 18.5 million shillings. For a long time it was either south or west. And the whole world was made to understand or to feel like if you wanted African art, you rushed to Nigeria, Benin or to South Africa for that matter. But I think bearing the fact that the shift is coming this way at this particular time, it means then that the art here is something to reckon with. People are not going to shift just at anything. I mean, people will only appreciate what is worth appreciating. And so bearing the fact that we are having an auction of this nature happening in the city of Nairobi, it will mean that even other stakeholders in the market, our people who have for a long time believed in just the Nairobi Stock Exchange as a place of investment, I think they're going to be waking up to the event that art is yet another place that they, they could actually put in their money. And as this happens, I think we all could understand that artists will be happy people will be like any other profession in the society, which has, has always not been the case. And the profession will grow. We have been inundated with interest um, for the auction. So I, um, we've been posting on Facebook a lot a day for 47 days. Um, so we p posted the last one, a Michael Soy um, painting, which he did especially for us, called The Auction. Um, so all the artists in the region are on Facebook, so they've been watching the process and we've, I've had lots of young new artists who I don't know contact us to say, you know, we want to hear more about the auction and how can we be put in it, you know, in, in the future. So the artists certainly are talking about it and excited, um, but um, more than that is actually the, the, the people wanting to come to the auction, guests. You know, we have people registered to bid who um, we've been trying to encourage to buy art for, for some time, but they found they haven't yet, they haven't committed. But I think that the, the auction is obviously the platform they've been waiting for. But as the international forecast shifts to one of the world's fastest growing trading blocks, most of the artists in the East African region are self-taught. Absence of formal training in the school curriculum not only compromises the quality of work produced, but also acts as a stumbling block to what could be a thriving industry. It took quite a while for me to ever realize my dream of being an artist. Actually, it took me leaving this country. And I went to Germany where I studied visual communication, which involves art. And so the challenges were enormous because you don't earn like any other professional. You have to be patient. If it's oil painting, you have to wait for it to dry ever to show it anywhere. In fact, the challenges are huge, and anyone who's an artist has got to be very patient. So as a person, the economic challenges were there, and still sometimes they emerge. Secondly, probably pegged to the economic challenges, you know, we have banks. Banks who may not even understand, especially in this country, where we are coming from, and they may not even understand the values of what we are doing. Those who buy them know that a painting could go for 300,000. I wish the banks knew the same information. If they did, then 
the loans that are floating around for everyone else in the market would be coming to us as well. But these are part of the challenges, and so we've lived with them, survived them, and we hope to be successful out of these challenges. The booming sales from the auction signaled investors' appetite for the vast untapped potential within the region. The, you know, the artists will grow in stature and become more famous because of an auction like this and you know, new, new records of prices will be set, will give an idea, indication of how this works and how the artists, what, what they're worth. And um, I think it's a very good platform. And a lot of this, uh, you know, you can talk about South African artists, and Nigerian, uh, the economies are very strong. If the economy is strong, the price is high. But that's not always the governing thing, it's how good is the art, and the, this art is as good as anywhere else. I think the impact is huge. Whether the piece is sold or our pieces are sold or not, the impact is huge because you will realize that when an auction goes up and it's something that is advertised glob globally, uh, it's got the impact in that people come to the uh, realization that art in that particular region is actually alive and kicking. And so for our artists, I think for us as artists in this region, really it means a big thing and we are pretty excited. I think that um, it's going to have an impact that'll be, that's hard to gauge at this stage. Um, we'd certainly like to hold an annual auction. Um, I think it's probably not more often than that, given the amount of work that it takes. I think that um, we already know that some of the artists here will be in um, international auction houses um, next year. They, that, and they haven't been before. So that's some of them, the more contemporary artists. Um, I think that our local collectors will, um, or I think generally the audience in general will begin to take more seriously that art is a valuable um, possession, is an important part of one's cultural life. Um, so I hope that, that it'll have far -reaching, um, a far-reaching impact, that people will attend exhibitions more often, artists will be um, interviewed you know, more regularly, there'll be more opportunities for them. And um, I, I suspect also the auction will create some um, pretty good prices for some of the artists.